A common problem your clients will face and issues that you'll have to address as a fitness professional is people's knees hurting when they squat. So let's take a look at a squat and address one of the most common causes of why people's knees hurt when they squat. So Christina, if you don't mind doing a squat for us. So when you squat, the shins need to come forward over the foot. And Christina's doing a great job of that. However, when the shins don't come forward over the foot, what typically happens is the knees roll inwards. So when the shin can't come forward, the ankle rotates in, that rotates the shins in, and the knees dive in, and that causes knee pain, or can cause knee pain. So go ahead and stand back up for us. One of the muscles that allow the shin to come forward over the foot, to, so to prevent the knees caving in, is the soleus muscle. The soleus is a calf muscle, and when it's flexible, it will allow the shin to come forward over the foot. So let's loosen up the soleus muscle using a self-myofascial or a self-massage technique, and I'll show you that exercise now. So you can just coach your client to sit at home. They can use a coffee table using a baseball or tennis ball. Obviously a baseball is going to add more pressure because it's harder. They can put their calf on top of the ball. They can be watching TV. They can even be sitting there having a glass of wine. If that makes them do the exercise because uh, it increases adherence, then have them do whatever it takes to help them do this on a daily basis. They can find a sore spot and pause on it. Got one? Perfect. Now, it's on top of a book to obviously lift the leg up so that the um, heel bone doesn't crunch down into the table and restrict the exercise. She's going to find a sore spot, pause 10 to 15 seconds on that spot until it starts to release and then move to a new sore spot, doing each leg for about two to three minutes. She can increase pressure by placing the other leg on top which will obviously push down and increase the pressure to the ball. But that's a very simple self myofascial release technique that she can do to help release the soleus, improve the ability of the shins to come forward over the foot when she squats, and alleviate any pain that she might have doing that exercise.